Hi everyone, in this video I am going to present the big environmental problems of the tropical region. Welcome back. This is in continuation to our video on major environmental problems of the world. Without wasting your time, in this video I am going to discuss these problems of the tropical region. The tropical region as you know that it is situated between 30 degree north and south of equator. It covers uh, mainly biomes like tropical rainforest, savanna grasslands and deserts. This region is also vital for entire humanity because of these uh, reasons. Pause the video and ponder over. Uh, with this background, let us directly dive into the tropical issues. So first in our list is the deforestation. Look at the map or a sketch. The region in red color is showing where the deforestation has taken place or taking place. Just look at the Amazon forest, which is also known as lungs of the world. Here the rate of deforestation is equivalent to three football fields per minute. Now suppose if the duration of the present video is about nine minutes, then it means 27 football fields, meaning in aggregate terms 36 acres or approximately three times the size of 11 acres college or school. Now quickly look at what are the reasons for this deforestation. The primary driver of course is the need of the agricultural land. You already know that this tropical region is a home of 70% population of the entire earth. And the population of this region is also increasing at a very high rate. Therefore demand for food, house, economic activity all are growing. So, it is equally important to understand that the deforestation is also attributed to the economic development, meaning the development of global trading network which supplies the timber for industry, school and homes. We will discuss this issue separately in separate module. Now let us dive into the second environmental issue that is desertification in this region. The term desertification means the degradation of natural resources in dry land. The term gained importance only after 1970s. Now look at the map between tropical rainforest and the deserts, mainly in Africa, there is a, a zone of transition that is savanna grasslands. You already know that the deforestation is taking place in this region. Similarly, the savanna grassland is also being converted into the farmlands. So it allows the expansion of desert since grasses or small trees which were acting as the barrier against the expansion of desert are removed. Plus the now land is also exposed to the erosion by the wind. It is also important to note that the desertification is more apparent along the Sahara Desert or fringes of Sahara which is the world's largest desert covering almost 10 countries of the world or mainly Africa meaning. The other global factor for the desertification is global warming. For this, kindly refer my video on Global Environmental Policies Part 2. Now come to the next problem in our list that is increasing water stress. With the increase in population and expanding economies, the demand for water in the tropical region is increasing at a very high rate. The Global Environmental Outlook Report highlights severe runoff decrease in parts of Northern Africa by 2050. Similarly, the proportionate circle diagram exhibits the situation of water footprint. Compare this uh, proportionate circle with the temperate country you notice. The diagram is also revealing that high water footprint countries are also fast developing countries. Therefore, the demand for water for agricultural activity, industry and settlements are going to increase in near future also. The Global Environmental Outlook Report also records an increase in uh, water stress in major basins of Southern Africa and possible agricultural GDP losses from 2-4% to 4 in Western and Central Africa. Now come to the next problem in our list that is the loss of corals and mangroves. As told in the beginning that 90% corals and 95% mangroves are found in this region. The reason for its existence is a suitable climate, salinity and ocean currents. Both corals and mangroves support most diverse ecosystem on the planet Earth. 
plus at many places uh, they protect the shoreline from waves and storms according to wwf coral reef provides close to 30 billion dollar ecosystem services that are in the form of fisheries tourism coastal protection and medicinal treatments let us do a case study of iconic great barrier reef which is known for its natural beauty this map is showing the extent and size of great barrier reef which is even visible from the space it is home to 1500 species of fish and 400 species of coral according to wwf its worth is about 6 billion dollars us that is us dollar per year to the australian economy since it provides employment opportunity directly or indirectly to the australian people now this map reveals the status of this biological structure it is showing the cumulative footprint of the coral bleaching the red line on this map highlights the region where more than 60% coral are bleached this bleaching and loss of corals are actually linked with variety of uh, reasons uh, like number 1 rise in sea level as we have already discussed in the previous video on the polar environmental problems second ocean acidification and third is the coastal development activities taking place in the queensland that is the second largest uh, state of australia for detail you can also look at uh, this report by australian government on this issue like corals mangroves are also decreasing or degrading in the tropical region due to almost just now mentioned similar reasons now let us come to the next problem in our list that is underdevelopment and extreme poverty the tropical areas are also home of world's most malnourished people almost 500 million people in asia 240 million in africa and around 35 million in latin america are undernourished meaning even more than the total population of entire europe we cannot imagine a world with a healthy environment along with the poverty and inequality for healthy environment meeting the needs of the present is also important some people say that it is the affluent community or rich people which are consuming more as well as wasting more this debate and dichotomy will continue but meeting the basic needs must be the first priority for the protection of environment the next major problem in our list is urbanization air pollution and waste generation all are interlinked if we see world's most polluted cities plus mega cities and migration flow from rural to urban area then we find that majority of them are in tropical region this is the list of uh, most polluted cities of the world pause the video and observe where are they located on the world map in terms of waste generation meaning per capita waste generation although this region is far behind the developed world but in aggregate terms the waste gen generation the total waste generation is very high plus again it is also increasing at a frightening rapidity this is the list of per capita waste generation from a selected countries uh, if you multiply this value with the total population of these selected countries you will arrive at different conclusion so statistic can lie something and can also reveal something now come to the last section of this episode that is the natural disaster and loss of human life and property the tropical region is known for cyclones earthquakes drought flood even tsunami look at the map the map is showing the top 10 countries by total population and the absolute number of people affected by the weather related disasters that occurred from 1995 to 2015 so notice all of them are in the tropical region excluding the northern part of china which comes in the temperate region and the exception is moldova in europe so in nutshell we can say that this region is ill equipped to deal with large scale 
variety of uh, disasters i will make a separate video on this topic so with this we end the present module and i hope you like the video and for more quality content kindly subscribe to the channel thank you